Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Fish back to with yet another video. And today I'm coming to you guys with the best layup packages in NBA 2K22. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be going over every layup package in the game. I'm gonna be going from top to bottom, going over the best guard ones, going over the worst ones, going over the best ones, and even going over the best ones for big men. So if you guys want more videos like this going over animations, the new season going to be out next week. I probably will be giving y'all a pretty much a all new best animation video where I'm going over everything in one video. So if you guys want that, I need y'all boys to like the video. I got a lot of tutorials coming soon though from the contact dunk tutorial, dribble tutorial, a lot of stuff coming soon. So if you want all this stuff to come out as soon, as fast, as possible, I need y'all boys right now to like the video, subscribe if you're new, but without further ado, let's hop straight into it. I got digital dash, came right with a up. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull off the lot. Got two in the diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds, but drop on this hot. 400 degrees, I burned up the block. Burn out, make one call, they turn out. See, see the gang, get the word out. When the shit getting hot, you the first out. Cover my wrist with a watch and I flood it with rocks. Now I look at the time all day. Be high, I wrap the old block and I drop off the top and I know you can see my face. You my dog at the end, don't care what the bitch is. Let's go! Alright, so unlike doing it like I usually do, I pretty much just group them together and I pretty much go from there. What I'm gonna do, pretty much go in order, try to get you guys, I tried to put it on a bill where pretty much it's not gonna be able to get any of these so that y'all can see the requirements for every single layer package in the game. So yeah, I'm gonna go all the way down to this and y'all gonna get a description of pretty much every layer package in the game so yeah without further ado let's hop straight into it all right so let's hop into it so when it comes to the layer package like i said i'm gonna go down these pretty much in order so first things first is gonna be default small default small pretty much for guards or small forts it pretty much is a timing it's just pretty easy to time the layups if you like to get a lot of greens if you like to use pro touch with your layups this is gonna be really good for it. it's gonna go straight to the rim every single time um, I'm not gonna say that these are very unblockable I'm not gonna say that these are really good for like the finisher there's not really much to them it's just going straight to the rim and it's gonna be really easy and consistent when it comes to timing your layup so if you're one of those people that really want to get greens on every single layup default small is gonna be the same or it's gonna be pretty much the one for you and as for default swing pretty much the same thing as default small it's just gonna be pretty much going even more I would say these are even better even better at timing um, and what I'll say the main thing I'll say about default small and default swing when it comes to these two man I'm gonna be honest with you um, these are layups that you're putting on if you're just not like reaching really high uh, driving layup on your build like if you're not at a 70 or above these are the two layups that you're pretty much gonna put on if you're not going with another layup package that we have later on in the video all right next is default swing big so when it comes to the default ones if you haven't picked up these are the layer packages that you're just putting on if you're just not reaching certain thresholds to get the other layer packages which are better so yeah but yeah default big is pretty much just a simple uh layer package but i'm gonna be honest it's a very very bad layer package because of how bad and how slow the animations can be sometimes but you put fast switch on these joints i'm gonna be honest they get really good because i ain't gonna lie they're just throwing it straight up it's like a, it's like a, it's like the combination combination of default small, default swing, and fundamental. But you get no lift on your like jump on these layers because I guess they're trying to say you're a big man. So yeah, default big. Pretty much, I'm gonna have the requirements on all these. That's why I'm showing it in this like style so that y'all can see like what's the height. So if you don't know, default small and default swing, I believe you have to be below a certain height, and default big, you have to be above a certain height. So that's pretty much how they did it this year. And yeah, that's pretty much what it is all right next we have the first extremely good layer package in the game whether you're on next gen whether you're on current gen i would argue this is the best layer package in the game because of the fact that it goes so well with circus circus is gonna get you, not circus but uh slithery finisher if you know how slithery finishers work it's been in the game since 2k20 it's giving you the best animation possible in every single situation you partner this up you partner this up with like a badge like that that is going to take this layer package to a whole another level and yeah and on this game where like you can go straight through people with these layer animations uh yeah it's gonna be very overpowered so yeah circus again this year is gonna be one of the best layer packages in the game i feel like it's one of three and when i'm cringing it's one of two so yeah circus definitely definitely when it comes to guards one of the best layer packages in the game and you see the requirements below
Alright, next is going to be Dominant Big. Now, when it comes to Dominant Big, I'm going to be honest with you. Dominant Big is very, very, very good for Big Man. You could argue it is the best Big Man layer package. Now, the only thing I'll say about it, when it comes to what it's really good for, it's really good for post scores and people that's just going to be at the rim at all times. It's not going to be really for people that's cutting. It's not going to be really for people like that. It's going to be really for people that's just sitting around the hole at all times. And you're going to get really good animations every single time. If you remember on 2K19, they had like these closeout animations where you could just move people out the way. Like off rebounds, glass screen or takeovers would move people out the way. Um, if you had slasher takeover as a big man, you would pretty much just get a clear out animation and just throw people out the way. And they still only have, they have that still in the game, but it's only in post score takeovers. So yeah, pretty much that's pretty much what Dominant Big is as a layer package. But the only thing I'll say is it's the best one in the game, but for specific big men. So you kind of have to be like a post score or somebody that just sits around the rim at all times. So yeah. All right, next is floater specialists. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Floaters this year are overpowered. Put it in the right hands. Now, the only thing I'll say about the floaters, you have to time them. So if you're not really good at timing them, I wouldn't throw it on. But if you're a person that's actually like using floaters, floater specialists is here for you, man. They got hop step floaters they got euro floaters they got all different types of floaters man and these are disgusting and they're gonna get you the best animations possible so this is like a like it literally says it it's a floater specialist it's literally strictly here for floaters and it can be extremely good the only thing i'll say about it if you're ever gonna want to not do a floater it's gonna become a very bad layer package so even at that point i feel like you could do floaters with other layer packages but if you're strictly like just so small as a build that you're just only ever gonna actually be able to do floaters this is gonna be good and you know in a situation where you're gonna have a wide open layup yeah you can still take that layup with this package i would just say um this is gonna be strictly for like guards that only do floaters not even like like if you're trying to do contested any type of contested layups with this uh i wouldn't advise of it um you're definitely gonna want to use giant slayer with this for sure but this is like the giant slayer layer package 100 percent extremely overpowered if you're good at timing floaters this is the one that you should put on and it's really good if you know what you're doing with it all right next is fundamental fundamental is pretty much floater specialist in default guard mixed together in my opinion it's pretty much the best of both worlds so it's pretty much like if you wanted to use floater specialist on your build but you also want to have really good like actual layup animation so like if you want to do contested layups too with it it has that too so pretty much i like to call this like the trey youngs of the world like the cp3s of the world it's gonna pretty much just get you a bucket every single time if you really need it now the only thing i'll say about it um there will be times where you'll get the wrong animation for where the defender is so like you'll do like a looping curve but it'll do like the looping curve right into the defender and it'll get a block before you even get the layup off so there can be certain instances where like the layup doesn't really work but I will say, this is one of the more underrated layer packages in the game. You don't really need Silly Finisher. You don't really need Giant Slayer. But you can put those on this layer package. It does get a lot better. And yeah, Fundamental is just, you know what I'm saying? It just is, it's a decent layer package for people that really don't have a lot of layer animations. But yeah, as soon as you reach that 70 threshold, we're going to get into this layer package next. That I feel like you still would probably want to put on. But yeah, Fundamental is definitely one of those layer packages that's really good for shorter guards that just don't really ever dunk. If you feel like you're going to do layups every single time this is gonna be perfect for you to be honest with you all right next is driving athlete now this is the layer package that you can use on all builds it's probably the most diverse layer package in the game if you remember on 2k20 it was the most overpowered layer package in the game because of it did way faster hop steps you got way bigger launches on hop steps you got way better launches on euros spin lips all that and it's back like that this year. The only thing about it this year, there is no fancy footwork. So you're not just going to be stunning. And it's not, not going to be like getting gassed even more with that. But what you can put alongside Long Athlete this year to compensate it for not having fancy footwork in the game anymore. And if you're on current or next gen, you can actually put on advanced gathers if you want to have fancy footwork along with this layer package. But if you want a badge that's going to go alongside it and just make it that much more overpowered, unstrippable. Unstrippable alongside this layer package might be the most it might be up there with circus and slithery i'm gonna tell you that right now long athlete is very overpowered and it's a layer package that you can get on any build it's not really based off of height it's literally just based off of rating as long as your build gets a 70 layup and that's not really hard to do even for big man i feel like if you can get that man put this on and you'll be straight i'm gonna be honest with you 
so yeah if you're a person that really like to do like a lot of different types of layups like floaters going straight to the rim doing hop steps uh your rolls anything like that all in one layer package long athlete is the one for you hey man now i know i hit 100k but the grind ain't stopped and some of you niggas still ain't hitting that subscribe button somehow still 90% of y'all that are watching my videos still aren't subscribed. And imagine the number we be at if y'all just hit that sub button. So subscribe! Alright, next is Stephen Curry. Now, every single year when I do these live animation videos, everybody try to tell me Stephen Curry is the one. Now, me personally, I've never been a person that really likes Stephen Curry, but you see the requirements. You have to have an 85 driving layup and below 6 foot 5. So even 2K is realizing that this is like a meta layup package every single year. So we have to do something about that so that everybody just cannot reach this layup package. But yeah, with that being said, um, this year, I do believe Stephen Curry is good. If I want to do floaters, though, I would rather float a specialist. If I want to do like an all-around layup package, I would rather fundamental. But I guess if you're a person that's good at time, in your lips i feel like if you want an alternative to default small default swing floater specialist and fundamental but you also want to like never really get blocked that much stephen curry is the one for you the only thing i don't really like about it personally is that for some reason when i put it on it gives me more contests and not only that not only that it doesn't really go that well with the finisher for me and i just miss wide open sometimes i don't know i don't understand it maybe that's because a lot of these counts as floaters and i don't be timing them as floaters but yeah i just feel like i miss a lot of them in certain situations i shouldn't miss a lot of them so yeah that's really all i can say about stephen curry but yeah i do know that this is like one of the more popular layer packages in the game now, if I had to say there was one layer package that I could honestly and truthfully say is by far the worst layer package in the game, George Gervin. Now, I remember one year there was people trying to tell me George Gervin was the best layer package in the game. If you want to get blocked every single time, throw on George Gervin. That's what that's what, that's the only thing I can give you when it comes to George Gorman. Uh, uh this, this is the only thing I say about it, man. I, I, I've never really been able to use this and it literally not get blocked. <laughs> like it's so slow. It's going straight into somebody. It's not like, uh, it's like a finger roll every single time. Like, if you do a reverse layup, it's gonna be a finger roll. And it's not, it's like, even when you try to do a reverse layup, you're gonna think it's gonna go to the other side. No, he's gonna do the flashiest, slowest, dumbest animation possible and still put it on the side of the person that, like, they're thinking you're going to the other side and they're just gonna send that shit. I'm telling you, this is, I don't know what they were on putting this in the game. They need to take the shit out, bro. It's been in the game for so long. It's been bad every, every year, in my opinion. Um, now, it might be good for some people, but for me, again, just like Stephen Curry, it just does not work. All right, so next is James Harden. We've had pretty much Circus, which is pretty much like an all-arounder, but that's kind of more for, like, hop steps. Like, it's like a hop step specialty, but, like, you don't have to use hop steps to do that. Um, floater specialist, we've had a floater. Um, and now we're at James Harden, which, in my opinion, if there was a layer package named Euro Specialist, it would be this layer package. Now, it's kind of funny to me because James Harden now doesn't even really do Euros, but when they put it in the game, you this was back when, like, James Harden was, like, a Euro Specialist, bro. Like, this is literally all he did. This was, like, before he, like, just spam step back threes. He used to even do step back middies and stuff like that. But less on that. More on the package. Yeah, this is pretty much just a Euro layer package. Um, And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. You can honestly get better Euro uh, animations in other layer packages. I'm going to be honest with you. But if you throw this joint on and only do Euros, I'm going to be honest with you. You're going to get a lot of fouls. That's one thing I've noticed. Like, you see how you push the ball down on some of these? It, like, actually, like, it actually works like how James Harden does it in real games. Like, they'll try to rip, reach in on you. Now, obviously, you will have to use Unpluggable with this. But, yeah, James Harden is definitely good for and ones definitely good for Euros. Um, and, yeah, that's really all I can say about it. It's not one of the best ones in the game, but when it comes to Euros, it's literally strictly here for Euros. I wouldn't say it's the best one in the game for even Euros, but, yeah, it is a Euro specialty land package. All right, and next, we get into some good ones. Kyrie Irving, man. This is arguably the best layer package on current gen, on next gen, in the game. Now, like I was saying with Circus, it's one of the three best layer packages in the game. If I had to say there was one in particular layer package that I would choose on both games, 
it would be Kyrie Irving. This is the one that's on both games. Now, there is one on next gen that you could argue is better than any layer package in the game, but it's only on next gen. I will be going over that at the end. But yeah, Kyrie Irving, man. Kyrie Irving. When it comes to having Solidity Finisher, there's no layer package that you would rather have. Um, there's so many dynamic animations that you can get in and out of to get around your defender, to get open layups, to get like crazy animations, to get the best animation possible, to get the best layer pack animation possible. It's just that simple. Uh, when it comes to Kyrie Irving, it was made for Solidity Finisher. Circus, it was made for Solidity Finisher, but Kyrie is on a different level. Um, the only thing I don't really like that much about Kyrie, he kind of has some extremely extra uh, reverse layers, but if you do get the right animation, it is a very, very good layer package. All right, next is LeBron James. Now, uh, me personally, LeBron James is kind of like if Long Athlete and George Gervin was like mixed together, um, but it's kind of like Long Athlete, George Gervin, and Fundamental. This is like the Fundamental, but for like small like wings like lockdowns small fours and all that but yeah i still would not use it if i had the option between this and long athlete i would definitely go long athlete honestly if i had the option between this and swing default swing i probably would go default swing but yeah it does have some good animations but when it comes to like the floaters um i don't really like the floaters i don't really like some of these animations sometimes just like on the default swing i was saying like sometimes you'll do like a looping animation and it doesn't even care where the defender is it'll just go straight into the defender and they don't even have to press y it'll just block so i don't really like layup animations that just gonna be bad and get blocked a lot so this one is just not for me but i know it is people out there that really like it so if you are a wing or a lock or anything like that this might be the one for you all right next now we've pretty much had a lot of specialty layups the hop steps the euros the floaters michael jordan if i had to say there is a specialty for this one is reverse layups now there is a couple extremely extremely extra animations but when it comes to reverse layers man there's not gonna be a better layer package now one thing i'll say about this one if you're a person that time your lips you're gonna really want to time these um but you can put on the one where like you don't have to time your lips but this goes this is another layer package like Kyrie Irving and circus that's really good with slithery but it's really sh like you're really gonna want to only do reverse layups and in my opinion if i'm doing reverses i would rather do a reverse dunk than reverse layup i don't remember the last time i really was strictly going for reverse layups i think that was on like 2k18 i used to do that a lot but now i really just want to dunk people so that just is what it is but yeah michael jordan if there's a specialty on it is pretty much just being extremely extra with every layup or it's the fact that it's like a reverse specialty and if I'm saying out of all the specialty layer packages, it's pretty much the best. No, I would say floater specialty is better at doing floaters than this one is doing at reverses. But yeah, it's still really good. It's definitely still really good. All right, next is Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons. Um, Ben Simmons is a layer package that is very awkward. Very awkward. Now, um, it kind of does have some good animations, but the one layup animation that it tries to showcase is like these little hook shot layup floaters. Now, these layup hook shot floaters are actually overpowered if you know how to time them. But, if you don't know how to time them, they're not good. That's really all I can say. One thing I say about these, these do not really get blocked if you know where to use them and you know how to trigger them consistently. But if you say, for instance, you're trying to do a content dunk and you accidentally do this going the wrong way, it will get sent. But if you know how to trigger them, consistently and mean to trigger them they can be kind of overpowered but with that being said it kind of is one of the worst layer packages in the game because the only time i feel like when i use them i don't know how to trigger them consistently i've seen people use them better than me so that's why i say that but um i've had it on 2k19 where i really was good with them but like ever since i've really not liked them that much so yeah ben simmons in my opinion is just not really the most usable layer package there's others i would like ahead of it but it is one of those layer packages that you don't really need that much to get it you only need a 60 driving layup to get it so yeah that's really what all i can really honestly say about it that's positive besides the fact that like it doesn't even showcase like the good layup animations because it actually does have some like decent animations in this layer package that's what i'll say it kind of has some long athlete animations i'm gonna be honest with you and last but not least for the layer packages that are on actually on both generations Russell Westbrook now this is a layer package that a lot of people like if you like a really fast straight to the bucket layer package Russell Westbrook is the one for you if you like really aggressive layer packages this is the one for you only thing I'll say about it man it's not really the best one for 
still be finisher because as you can tell Rush Westbrook is not really an IQ player he's not really doing things to just be smart he's really just doing stuff to be as aggressive as, as hell it's just that simple bro so yeah if you're a person that just really like to go straight to the rim fast as possible every single time it's gonna be good for you if you're kind of an undersized guard it's not gonna be the best because you're gonna get blocked a lot but if you're kind of a wing and you can actually put this on it's not gonna be bad for you i'm gonna be honest you're gonna get really good animations and one thing i'll say about it when it comes to being a wing you'll actually get really low contest a lot a lot so yeah if you're actually like in the six foot seven range six foot eight range and you can still put this on driving layup this is actually a really really underrated one it's kind of like long athlete but it's kind of like two hands and it has a decent reverse layup it actually has some really good animations in his layup package i wouldn't say it's a top three i wouldn't even say it's top four but it definitely is one of the more underrated layup packages in the game especially for the people that's not using slowly finish all right so last but not least when it comes to the best layup packages in the game my opinion what is arguably the best layup package on both current gen and next gen 100 percent the best one on next gen the only arguable ones that i would say that i would be able to argue is circus is kyrie irvin is maybe a Russell Westbrook and a couple other ones there but in my opinion there's only really circus and kyrie when it comes to having slithery finisher in my opinion slithery finisher can take these to a whole nother level and yeah jelly jelly layer package is one that you only can get on next gen and it is pretty much the combination of circus pretty much the combination of Kyrie Irving but to an entirely new level it's gonna put you in animations that you just never seen before and it's gonna give you an open layup a lot of the times and it's barely ever gonna get blocked so yeah jelly layup um you really don't need that much either you only gotta be below six foot ten and 80 plus driving layup so yeah man it's just it's just pretty much a really easy thing to get on your build. I'm going to be honest with you. But yeah, this is one of the best layer packages in the game. If you guys want more videos like this, I got the best animations coming out next week. Like I said, I still got to give you guys pretty much the content down tutorial. So if you guys want that to come out as soon as possible, I need y'all boys to like the video. Subscribe if you're new. If you guys want the dribble tutorial, same thing. But yeah, man, turn on post notifications for the first time in my video. Share the video to anybody you think it would help. But yeah, man, it is your boy Fist, man. And I'm about to be, man. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! I'm gonna leave this here because there are two more that are on next gen that I literally didn't even test that I didn't even know was even on here but there's two new ones Damian Lillard and John Wall I've been on this game the whole year and I didn't even know that these were things but yeah John Wall and Damian Lillard I haven't really tested them but they seem like pretty decent layer packages uh, Damian Lillard is pretty much just going straight to the rim every single time I actually might actually try this one out uh, John Wall is actually a very very underrated one I'm not gonna lie it's got a, it kind of looks like it's similar to Kyrie Irving, but at the same time, similar to Long Athlete. Seems like it's combining Kyrie Irving, Circus Alley, Circus, and Long Athlete. So I'm definitely going to be trying out two of these things. I honestly, before recording this, I didn't even know that these was on here. So my bad, I will probably have to update this for y'all boys. But yeah, Damian Lillard, John Wall, these are pretty much next gen exclusive, just like Jelly. And I didn't even know. But yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna actually test out this John Wall. This David Lillard looks like a good one too. So yeah, I'm gonna test out both of these. I'm gonna come back, catch y'all boys with another video. Um, but these do seem like pretty decent animations. I'm not gonna lie to you.